Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Rucky. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is one that I have been so excited to film. As you can tell from the title, we are going to be unboxing a Goliath beetle. Not only a Goliath beetle, but also a larva to a Goliath beetle. So it's really cool because Goliath beetles aren't super common to be kept as pets. They aren't like just, you know, your average person doesn't have a Goliath beetle. Like they're kind of hard to find. They actually used to be very heavily regulated in the United States. So not really anyone had them unless you had special permits to own them. But luckily now they can be kept by pretty much anyone as long as you can find someone to buy one from. Huge thanks goes to Peter Clausen from Bugs in Cyberspace. I'm going to link his website down below. An incredible website with a variety of different insects and invertebrates and such a cool variety as well. So if you're looking for any unusual bugs to keep or invertebrates or whatever, make sure to check out Bugs in Cyberspace. They provide a lot of insects and arachnids and whatnot to museums and zoos and like universities, classrooms, stuff like that. So I think that's really cool. A huge thing is educating people about these amazing creatures. So I really enjoy that. Also their proceeds from the website goes to online insect communities and invertebrate organizations. So I also really love that as well. They were luckily kind enough to send me a Goliath beetle and also a larva that I am hoping to raise into a beetle and it'll be really cool to document kind of that process. And I'm just really excited for this. So again, I will link Bugs in Cyberspace down below. Check them out if there's anything you wanna get. If you wanna get a Goliath beetle larva, you know where to go. So we're just gonna get straight to unboxing it. And I'm just excited. I've never had a bug this big. Like, very large bug. So first of all, he sent me these really cute beetle stickers. Love that. So first, we're just gonna go straight into unboxing the beetle, and then we'll get to the larva. So the beetle is in here. You can see him in there. Do you see the beetle? Hello, friend. I'm so excited. Look how huge that is. That's crazy. The scientific name is Goliathus Goliathus, so I also love that. Very easy to remember. And in case you were wondering, they are native to Africa. Unfortunately, you're not going to find these here, but just imagine if you saw a Goliath beetle, like, in your home. That would be pretty cool. Bye. It's massive. That's insane. Oh, that is so cool. Check that out. Do you see that? Obviously you see it. I'm literally showing it to you. I'm like kind of nervous to hold it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never, I've just never like, I've never even seen anything like this in front of me before. So it's just really weird to think that this is alive and like real, like it exists. Buddy, I'm gonna need you to let go of that paper towel there. That is insane. Oh my god. Dude. So yeah, we are friends now. This is so cool. Would anyone else be this excited over a large beetle being shipped to them? Someone? Anyone out there? Am I the only one? So yeah, overall, like, I would recommend this. This has given me a lot of serotonin, and it's only been a few minutes. I just have a large beetle on my back. And I don't think I have a problem with it. I think it's okay. In the wild, goliath beetles typically feed on fruit as well as the sap from trees. In captivity, people often feed them bananas, so here is my beetle eating a banana. Isn't that the cutest thing you've seen in your entire life? Don't lie to me. I know it is. Also note that this footage is four times speed. This is normal speed. Also, goliath beetles do display a form of sexual dimorphism. Males have a large Y-shaped horn, while females are hornless and have a wedge-shaped head that assists them when burrowing to lay their eggs. Males also are slightly larger than females. 
All right, so next up, we have the Goliath beetle larva. So with the larva, you actually have to keep the container you keep them in rubber banded shut. Otherwise, they will actually lift the lid up and escape. They are really big, as you might be able to tell, because the beetle's really big. The larva is also pretty large. Imagine a waxworm just times like 30. These are L3 and star larvas, meaning they are pretty much just a stage away from being a cocoon and then going into becoming a beetle. So I'm a little nervous because I'm not going to lie. I'm a, I'm a little squeamish. I'm not going to act like I'm not human. Like I, I don't know. I, I've never dealt with anything this big. So I am going to be going in with tweezers. I'm a little squeamish around things that look like maggots or like waxworms don't bother me as much just because I've been around them enough that I don't care. But just like maggot type of things just gross me out. So the fact that this kind of looks like a giant maggot is kind of scary to me. Uh, I hate it. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it so much already. Yuck. Ugh, that's disgusting looking. Ugh, that's so gross. Oh my god. Ew, do you see how big that is? That's nasty. Uh-huh, do you see how big it is? Ew, that's... Ugh. Oh my god. Not gonna lie. I hate it. Alright, should I just face my fears and hold it in my bare hand? I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm holding it. It's really not that bad. It's just... Hmm... And, uh, just the way their bodies move is, like, unsettling to me. Like, just the way it, like, inches around. Uh, it's, like, on its side, but it's moving still. I hate that. I just hate it. Ugh. I challenge one of you to grab one of these and just face your fears. <laughs> Link down below to Bugs in Cyberspace. But really? Oh my god. Ew. It's kind of cute. Well... Uh, eh. No, it's not. Well, I mean, I know I think a lot of weird things are cute. But I don't think I can even, like, lie to you and tell you that I think this is cute. Nothing about it is really appealing, other than what it turns into is pretty cool. But, uh, uh, I would almost rather touch, like, dog feces with my bare hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, almost. Not quite, but almost. It's not that bad. It really isn't. I'm just gonna put you back. So yeah, isn't it fun that we're just embarking on this journey together? We're gonna just take care of this larva and we're gonna turn it into a beetle. And we also have a beetle. Obviously, I'll make more videos with these guys, but if you wanna see like updates on them regularly, make sure to check out my other social medias. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you're new here. Turn on notifications, check out my social media links. I will see you guys in my next video.